Hi guys, welcome back to another FSD video. I am on the latest version of FSD, which is 12.5.1.3. Uh, this is my second video with that. So we are going to be doing some local driving. We'll be driving on some state highways and we'll be testing a few things out. For my autopilot settings, as always, I kept my automatic speeds at that setting on and uh, my profile is assertive. We're stopping at the stop sign as you can see it's a four-way stop sign uh, now it's our turn to go so it's moving forward uh, right off the bat you would have noticed that like you know when it stopped at the stop sign and picked up it didn't take forever it uh, took a reasonable amount of time which basically I would have taken when I'm driving so a little bit of like these things minor kind of improvements are there in this version and 12.5 stack as a whole right so if you consider like 12.5.1 to this version minor you know bugs or minor improvements are there uh, minor bugs have been uh, removed right so that's uh, what I would say right but uh, the experience has been amazing so far I would tell you uh, the drive has been very smooth FSD drives like a human pretty much and you know we are approaching another stop sign and we have to make a left from there so um, let's see how much time it's gonna take on the stop sign and this is uh, so I can't tell if it's a busy road because you know, this is the first time I'm driving around this path okay so the car is moving forward which is fine it is like kind of a blind kind of a stop sign so it did the right thing it just moved a little bit ahead of a stop sign and now there's traffic coming on the from the left side so it's gonna wait for these cars to make a move and now we are turning so no issues at all perfectly fine okay and we are gonna be making a left turn from the stoplight Again, as you've noticed, the car is slowing down very gradually and when it's going to pick up, it's going to pick up in a very, what do you call, gradual manner. You're not going to feel any abrupt kind of motions or movements. Also guys, if you haven't already subscribed, I can request you to please consider subscribing. I try to make latest videos about FST and you know as i'm getting these updates like you know i try to give you the first hand uh, experience like i try to keep these videos uncut as well so that you can see what exactly uh, fsd is doing in certain scenarios or situations so so far we are driving really good and i've driven like especially on the 12.5 stack i would say i've driven uh, to so many places uh, without any intervention right so that's the biggest thing for me that i am seeing when we were on the 12.3.6 stack that wasn't the case right so you don't have to touch the yoke at all and the car pretty much takes you from one place to another on its own So we didn't like come across a pothole situation but I'm pretty sure that is still not improved in this version otherwise they would have had that in the release notes so we will test it out you know if something come across but I don't think that that thing is still addressed but look at this like we took the exit and took the ramp without any problem at all so seamless natural kind of movement Okay, so the car is now changing the lanes, which is fine. Sticking to the middle lane on the state highway for now. In this case, middle lane is perfectly fine. Because majority of the right lanes, as you can see, are going towards the exit. So, it's a two lane kind of state highway, technically.
freeway is gonna end in half mile and reduce speed ahead so let's see what happens if it's gonna reduce the speed or not so on the automatic speed offset it's gonna pick the most natural speed based on the traffic flow and everything okay so look at this slowing down now perfect perfect so speed limit is 50 now and like it is following the road signs as well so there was a sign that reduced speed ahead Also, I did not uh, have it on my camera, but I did notice that yesterday I was going through a construction zone and there was a detour sign. In the past, FS FSD would basically go, go around these signs, but in this case, it did not. It actually followed the detour route, right? So, something to highlight. I will actually make a video if I come across that situation, but uh, it was something when, you know, I was not having my GoPro with me in the car and I experienced, so definitely a big improvement okay let's see if it's gonna come in the left lane or it's gonna try to stay in the same lane the left lane is going a little bit faster but uh, there's a traffic behind me as well so FST is driving just fine also guys, uh, whenever you're using the FSD service, I always tell you guys to pay complete, complete attention and make sure that you're ready to take control at any given point if needed. So far, uh, I haven't come across any scenario where I had to actually do this. FSD is pretty much working great, especially on the uh, commutes that I am doing and I'm recording majority of my commutes. So let's say if I'm driving three times a day, at least one or two times I'm recording as well. Sometimes I post and sometimes I don't, but I am recording majority of the time. So it also gives me a good idea, like things that have been improved from the prior versions and any new thing that I'm noticing in the latest firmware. A lot of you comment that you don't get like these updates like uh, you are not getting the 12.3.6 update yet and what 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 hardware firmware or like hardware stack I'm on right so I'm on hardware 4 and I don't know how it works but uh, I've been getting regular updates anytime they update the FSD uh, and I, I follow like you know a few uh, big you know I would say testers as well and i noticed that when they get like the update i usually get that like after a week or so from that time right so um, maybe it's because i'm testing and sending feedback to tesla regularly and the usage of fsd is basically really high in my car maybe that's why i'm getting the updates not sure i don't know so if you guys have any um any thoughts on this let me know because I don't have an answer to this question and a few of you asked uh, in my previous video under the comment section so I have no clue about this how it works I am like on the advanced uh, you know updates setting so that's the only thing that I have uh, I don't think anything is different other than that so also like you know they are rolling these things out so if you are let's say on 12.3.6 there's a good chance you're not gonna get like the 12.5 uh, you'll probably get the latest one 12.5.3.1 so the versions are confusing so if I have said I think I said something wrong here so 12.5.1.3 that's the latest version right so if you get like the update now i think from 12.3.6 you will go to the latest version whatever is available at that time
Yeah, but like there's a visible difference, especially people who are still on 12.3.6. Once you get the 12.5 stack, you will start loving the full self-driving service and you'll be using it more. I would say it's more usable as well because you're not getting, you know, to touch the yoke. And it's pretty much a very, very great driving experience, I would say, uh, in terms of full self-driving, right? So, don't have to intervene a lot. And, you know, basically not at all, but majority of the cases now. Okay, we still have 2.6 miles to go. I'm just going to grab a bite to this place. And I started from uh, like an area like, you know, you saw and I started my drive. So came a little bit towards the south side today. So this is a li little bit different from what my normal commute is. drive so far okay look at this it's slowing down on its own so what do you guys think like I do think that FSD has come to a point where this can be called a full self-driving <laughs> Although they still have the supervised word in the label, but this is pretty much taking you from point A to point B, and that was that was the intent, right? So definitely getting better with each update and more and more friendly user experience, I would say. So sunglasses sport is still not there. Let me try to put on the glasses and let's see if the tension monitoring system is gonna still work. Okay, so I'm wearing sunglasses now. And tension monitoring unavailable sunglasses used detected. So, okay, I'm gonna take it off. So this is like another thing that is coming in the future. They are working on it. So at some point we will get that update where you know you will be able to use this with the sunglasses on attention monitoring active now again okay the fsd is letting the lady go you can see which is fine
that is coming up. Okay, as you can see, FSD is giving a signal and it's going to turn off. Perfect. So I'll take over from here because I have to find the parking where I want to park although FSD can look for parking but guys this is uh, all for today's video let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and I am gonna see you in the next one until then goodbye stay safe